We're going to talk to this young man here. Jonathan Taylor left Wisconsin after an extraordinary college career with over 6,000 rushing yards, fourth most in FBS history. He's the only player ever to rush for 6,000 yards in fewer than four seasons. And to get that many, you've got to have some big games. And Taylor had many of them, rushing for at least 200 yards 12 times in his career. That's the most in FBS history. And with that resume, he is rated as the number three running back prospect for the upcoming draft. Todd McShay has him going in the second round in his latest mock draft. And here he is working out right now and getting set for the NFL draft, or he will hear his name at the end of next week from Wisconsin. Jonathan Taylor live bright and early in Arizona this morning. And uh, Jonathan, thank you very much for taking this time here with us. And I just wonder, I'm always so fascinated by this process. When you hear your name talked about in the way it is and everyone is picking apart literally everything you do, what is that experience like as you hear people projecting what the rest of your life is about to start looking like? How you doing, Jay? I appreciate you having me on. Uh, but it, it's a real it's a real unique experience just because you get to see all the insides and outs of people who just watch and study your game. And, you know, some people confirm parts that you think, yeah, I think I do that really well. And then some people bring up some things that, you know, you might have to work on and you're going to continue to work on. And they might bring up some things that you thought that you shouldn't really need that much work in. But at the biggest um, extent, I think the biggest thing you need to understand that everyone's just trying to figure out what kind of player you are, and it's up to you to continue to keep working to try to become the best player you can be. Well, normally at this point, I would ask a prospect about all the different things he's being asked by all the different teams that you've met with, because in a normal year, you would have been flying all over the country meeting with teams during this yeah. process. How has this worked? Give all of us a sense as we have sat here and, and watched and wondered, how, how has this worked? What have you been doing the last few weeks? So the last few weeks, I mean, you've been trying to practice social distancing as far as if you need to go to the grocery store, things like that. But as far as training, you're trying to do the same thing as well. I mean, a lot of training spots are closed down. How do you see yourself making an immediate impact in the NFL the day you get there? I think the biggest thing will come through learning the playbook. I know a lot of guys that come in rookie year, it's a new change. And the biggest thing is understanding what's going on. As long as you know what's going on and you're able to go out there and play fast, I think that's how you make an immediate impact. So I think the biggest thing would just be me diving into the playbook and learning everything I can. And really quickly, what's the one thing you need to work on the most, the thing you need to get better at to be the player you want to be? One of the biggest things I want to continue to put, making plays in the third down area on tape. I've had one year of really showing that in college, and I know consistency is a big thing at the next level. I'm all about consistency, so I want to continue to do that, develop routes so that I'm able to run the entire route tree flawlessly. All right, yeah, that's a huge part of the, of the pro game. All right, what are the plans? What was this, again, such an unusual year. What will you be doing next Thursday or Friday night as you wait to hear your name called? Next Thursday, I'll be back home with, with family and friends. Uh, not too many, though. You can only have 10 people at a gathering. So it's tough because you got to pick and choose which closest family members and friends that you want. And it sucks, but that's just something that we have to do in this day and age right now. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.